It's 7 a.m. in Paris right now. Here's a live look at the iconic cathedral. It's still smoldering from that massive fire that burned for nine hours as horrified Parisians and the world watched. More than 500 firefighters battled the blaze. This video released by the Parisian fire brigades showing the intensity of the flames and the desperate struggle to get water hoses on the landmark. It appears tonight, as bad as it looks, there is some good news. Paris's fire chief says tonight the structure has been, quote, preserved as a whole, including the grand entry and the twin towers that soar above the skyline and major works of art. But a cathedral spokesman says the cathedral has sustained, quote, colossal damage and much of the interior has been gutted. The most crushing image, the slender spire slowly igniting and then tumbling as people in the streets cried and prayed. Tonight, French President Emmanuel Macron is vowing that Notre Dame will be rebuilt. The cathedral holds a special place in the hearts around the world. And Nightbeats Joe Vasquez is live outside San Francisco City Hall that is lit up in colors of the French flag tonight. Joe? Right, red, white, and blue, the colors of the nation of France, a country that is having a very difficult day. When I heard about it, I was in shock. I couldn't believe it. Veronique Bone, a French citizen who lived in Paris before moving to San Francisco, says she's been crying all day, especially after watching this scene on social media. You see the spire uh, collapsing. It's where I, it's when I, I burst into tears. The Notre Dame Cathedral, more than 800 years old, burned for hours. It started in an area where a refurbishment project was underway, but what exactly sparked the fire is still not entirely clear. For the people of France and the 13 million tourists who visit it every year, the Notre Dame Cathedral is more than a large church. It's a historical and cultural icon. Notre Dame is the kind of the soul of Paris. French expatriates at Café de la Presse were stunned to see it swallowed up in flames. The roof is gone, the roof's collapsed. So it's really, really upsetting. It's part of our culture is gone. Officials in Paris say the cathedral has suffered colossal damage, but they do believe the landmark rectangular towers have been preserved. Though some interior parts of the church are still in danger of collapsing, the main structure has been saved. Hopefully they will be able to rebuild it, but it will be different, I guess. We will rebuild it. But it's still really, really sad. The Consul General of France told us there are about 60,000 French nationals living here in the Bay Area, and there is an effort underway through the Consul to collect money for the rebuilding. Reporting live on the Night Beat, I'm Joe Vasquez. I think the response to rebuild will be amazing, Joe. Thank you for that.